Hey guys, you've probably seen this uh, window before, at least uh, you think you do, because I've showed you this um, as a plugin version, and it's got the DDMF uh, Meta plugin, and we can find it here, Meta plugin. Looks very similar, but this, um, the one on the right is actually a little bit different, because in the left one, uh, I showed you this, you can open uh, plugins, and then you can um, route your audio through it, and then you can make various routings before it goes um, to your to what you hear. So in this case, here on the left side, now I've um, run my dry signal, and I've run a signal to my alloy um, channel channel strip plugin, which really doesn't make any sense, but um, that's what you can do with it. But um, with the mega meta plugin synth that I just found out. Um, a few weeks ago, this is really awesome because now we can do the same, but we run it as um, as a plugin, and we can um, use various synthesizers at the same time, um, which I totally love. So uh, first first step you do is you open the uh, Meta plugin in your in your in your top plugin window. Um, and you can get it at uh, I think the website is DDMF or something. Um, I don't know, but it's it, it's very cheap and it, this guy makes some amazing cool plugins and this is one of them so you have your MIDI input here and you need to double that because um, you want to use multiple synthesizers and for my first synthesizer I used um, Zebra which is one of my favorites um, and I made sort of a sequence arpeggiating sound in there um, if I disconnect this MIDI cable you can hear just the Zebra side So I've got four lanes here. This is my first lane, which is just sort of an effect. Uh, the oscillator is tuned very low, and it has some oscillators, oscillator effects. Um, I can get into this later uh, if you want to. Just let me know, and I'll explain the patch a little bit better. And then I have my sort of plug sound, and then I have another plug sound, and this one which is going to uh, bus 1, which has a delay on it. You can see that right here. So all together, it sounds like this. So that's cool. But then I wanted to um, I want to go a little bit further, and I want to use Alchemy in there um, to provide a little bit of uh, a real-world sound, because Alchemy can load um, just normal samples. And then you get out of the synthesizer uh, stuff a little bit. So this is what I made in Alchemy. And I mainly wanted to do that to enhance the attack of the zebra sound. So now together we have... Um, so yeah, you can get some very, very sick sounds by um, just layering synthesizers, and your patches can be very basic too. It doesn't matter. This is probably a little bit too extreme because now I can only use it in specific cases. It's gonna be hard to reuse the sound because it has such a um, distinctive character. I mean, it's easily recognizable, so I cannot easily use it in um, different uh, songs like you could do with a bass that just sounds like a sine wave. Um, but it's very cool to mess around with this, and then after you've used the synthesizers, you can use various plugins to enhance it more before it finally goes um, to your output, and then you have just one channel with all those sounds in it. So I thought it was really cool. Um, definitely check it out. 
and I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.